Hello everyone and welcome to Super People. The final beta for this game is playing right now and we are going into my very first match in this game to get some gameplay footage, some first impressions, and kind of see how it is. I already completed the tutorial so it did run me through. Uh, essentially there's like five classes that you choose from and then from there there's loot and things like that similar to PUBG has a similar style. Uh, but of course, there's uh, kind of a special powers to it. So, it looks like Seeker, is it making me play as a Seeker or select a new one? Uh, this is what we got. Seeker, a lone wolf that prowls the battlefield tracking and hunting down. Okay, confirm, I guess. And it looks like we're in a first person match right now. So, this looks like it's the... Oh lobby here we have a change class to the right okay so you can use your points to change to a different one i guess 15 free class changes okay so start out with 15 of these you can randomize i guess then you can select between them i thought at the beginning of the match you would automatically get to choose a class but i would appear to be wrong they, uh, the character skins for this game are, are pretty cool, actually, starting out. Uh, the, there's a lot of options for customization. There's a lot of different uh, face models, hair models. Uh, really, there's there's a lot in general. Wow. <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be like Squid Game's outfit? It's actually kind of spot on. Nice. All right, we just got about 30 seconds, so I'm going to pause the video until we get into the match here. If it even lets me. I don't know what happened to my mouse. It's never mind. It's not letting me pause it. Okay. Well, we're just going to go straight into it then, I guess. Uh, and we'll, we'll see how this goes here. It's going to be my first match, like I said. Uh, as always, if you guys do enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know if you plan on checking this game out. Or if you even heard about it, I guess. Uh, it does have a pretty cool look to it, I will say. So what do we got here? So I guess we're automatically getting dropped into this area here. Uh, let's go for, let's see. So there's Hidden Valley, Lumberyard, Airport, Belmont, High School, New Kirkwood, Medical Center. Okay, so I guess you can't even go the rest of the map. You just have to select one of these. Interesting. Well, let's go to ooh, Super Soldier Hall. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, let's go to Super Soldier Hall. I'm getting a lot of Warzone vibes for the, the beginning here. And once we drop in, I guess you'll see my character a little bit. Uh, I think he looks a little... <laughs> actually, kind of like Adam Jensen from Deus Ex. Uh, the outfit that I chose... I feel like it was kind of cool too. It has like that cyberpunk uh, trench coat look to it. Let's actually go over to this little house here just in case anybody else is going to those buildings over there. Nice, and we landed. Are we locked to first person? It didn't actually tell me whether... I mean, that's fine if that is the case. So it is a standard, like, uh, let's reload this. VR game where you do have to run around, pick up ammo, pick up Bonnie armor, all that fun stuff. Uh, let's see. If things are glowing, they did tell you this in the, uh, tr the tutorial. It essentially means that, wow. That's a, I'm pretty sure that's a gold right there. If things are glowing, it means that it's better than what you currently have equipped. So, it's a, a little tip that they actually said in the beginning. Now, what exactly is this landing zone? Locate enemies that have landed near you. And heartbeat sensor. So, if we equip this, does it work? I guess if somebody's close enough to us, we can see them. Uh, we also got a defense bar, so let me go ahead and equip that or use that. Fire nearby 
bar with F key. Open the inventory and use that. Got it. I feel like the field of view is really close right here. Ooh, we got a purple one. Okay. Wow. There are seven tiers of weapons and I believe five tiers of gear from what they said in this tutorial. I don't know. We're going to need all of this stuff, but I'll take what I can get for right now. Haven't really found any scopes or anything like that. Yeah, let's make sure that we do have ammo. Oh, this gun doesn't even have any ammo right now. That's not good. What's it take? Does it tell me? Nine millimeter. Okay. We need to find nine millimeter ammo. Right now, we're doing okay. Uh, we do need to find our way over there. Whoa, why is the map so huge now? Okay. If you press N, it makes the map huge, apparently. Okay, we got a green super capsule. Nice. 9 millimeter anywhere? Here we go. Here's some 9 mil. First aid kit. Acquire an energy bar. Just got shot at a second there. This purple. I just saw him. Alright, we're going for them. We're not going to waste it here. Adios. Goodbye. First blood. Nice. First kill. How do I see what they have? There we go. Green capsule. Take that. Take that. Nine mil. Nine mil. And that's good. Reload this gun. Did it reload all the way? It really wants me to find a nearby energy bar and use it. I could have sworn that I did, though. At level 10, you get a special ability. What is this? Mountain? Uh, damage to rocky terrain or when taking around uh, behind cover? When taking cover behind trees. Okay. In track. You can see the trajectory of throwables. That's kind of cool. Okay, we found a blueprint. So blueprints and gold you can use outside of the uh, the mission. So it kind of like helps you do uh, or unlock some cool items or possibly gear, I, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's just skins or things like that or if it's more than that. Okay, nice. Uh, is our helmet better than this one? Level two, level two. I think it's the same. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. Does it tell me? So this is single fire. And that's full auto. I can see it on the bottom of the screen. The map looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, the environments look great so far. Playing in first person is not bad. Two. When I started the game, it started out at very, very low settings, so it was a little weird. Uh, but I bumped it up to high, and it, it seems to be running fine now. Let's see what we have here. A speed bar. There we go. That's what they wanted me to find. Speed energy bar. Oh, there's a guy all the way over there. Personal supplies. So personal supplies are kind of like loadouts. Um, I did turn the volume down a lot for this game. I was in the tutorial and there was like a few moments where whatever, for whatever reason, although I turned the volume down, it was extremely loud. It was, it was pretty bad. All right, let's see if we can get this person up here. See them. Nice. They're down. I don't know if we're playing with bots right now. We could be. 
which would kind of explain I'm do why I'm doing okay. But who knows? Who knows? All right, so we got 300, or you can have a maximum of 300 gold, and then we also have this blueprint, which has a timer on it, I guess. Let's see. Red pill. Go to a marks location and open the resupply with F. We don't need the 12 gauge. We don't need the 556 right now. Let's open up this. Enhancing your abilities with the super red super capsule. Oh, okay. So it increases. I see. So green increases this. Red increases this. Cool, cool. Let's try running over there. We have two kills. There's 16 teams left and however many soldiers. I just saw a person back there. So I think this randomly drops stuff. Wow. Don't mind if I do. Holy. Holy. I really like this highlighted part where it tells you like what equipment works for what. That is really nice to see. Oh god. Oh man, that scared me. That legitimately scared me. Kill bonus. Uh, I need a heal. Uh-oh. Oh no. What is that? Quick stride. That made me nervous back there. So that quick stride that I just did right there was a special ability. Okay, bandage, bandage. Oh, nice. You automatically apply like multiple of them at time. So we know there's a guy down here. Reload this. Now the question is, was that a separate person? I think they just found a boat. I don't think I'm hitting them. That's fine. All right, let's get out of here. The ring is closing in on me. It really is. I don't know. Is there any boats? Oh, no. Any vehicles? Quick stride. Here we go. That is what's going to save me. Okay. It's coming up here. I heard shots. That was definitely like a bot or something. Or we don't have time for this. Go, go, go. Green capsule. Okay, sure. They were running the other way. I'm gonna, just going to keep on running this way. Eight teams left. Is that eight players? Oh, 
Oh man. That was the nuke that I saw in the tutorial. Nice. We just made it. We just made it to a safe point. Okay, I really need to get some, some cover here. I'm going to save my Survival quick slide moments. for any important moments. Nice movement speed. Ooh. That's pretty good. We got like a 10% movement speed increase. I definitely feel it right now. What? They were teaming with each other. Unless if they are a team. I thought solos would drop you into a game with only solos, but I guess they were a team. Well, we got rank eight in our first game. Actually, not bad. Not bad, I, I would say. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave the game. I'll show you guys some of the customization options that they do have since, uh, you know, we're just about 16 minutes into this video. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying this video, definitely leave a like on it. It really helps me know. If we get this video to, let's say, 15 likes, then I will definitely keep posting some more footage. Uh, once it hits that marker, then we will continue it and I'll try to post it within the next day or so. So, uh, this is what the main menu looks like overall. Uh, this is my character. And then if you go over to inventory, you have character. Here's all the options that they have. There's really a good amount. Uh, there's also female characters, as you can see right here. Uh, there's a good amount of options there. Same thing with hairstyles. Same thing with this. Uh, same thing you go to skin this is all for your parachute what that kind of looks like and attire i think the attire is probably some of the best attire you can start for a battle royale game if PUBG had attire like this off the get-go i feel like that would be so cool but i've never had cool outfits in PUBG. you have everything from this trench coat that i really like to uh a rider jacket it's pretty simple um uh, some rogue armor i've seen a lot of people wearing this swat armor if you want to be big and bulky uh this one's pretty cool too it's like a exo suit looking outfit um and there's tops and bottoms for each one of these aqua ghost coat um there's also this one which is pretty cool if you want like a hooded outfit and then they even have like regular stuff too if you just want to wear a hoodie uh, like some drip, a red hoodie, a fur jacket, uh, just a regular jacket too. There's a good amount in here. Uh, some biker equipment. It's all good stuff in my honest opinion. Um, I it, Like I said, it's definitely one of the better uh, cool aesthetic looking characters out there. Oh yeah, the masks too. The masks are pretty cool. You can get something like this something like this i feel like that would fit pretty good with this outfit but i'm rocking no mask right now because why not uh this one would work pretty good but yeah there's there's a lot of options um i'm really impressed with it so far now this stuff uh you can receive a specialized weapon and supplies for your class during the game so i think if you take this then you can actually go into the game and start out with it i think i'm not 100 percent sure about that but i i believe that's how it works we could technically try it um they automatically give you about 2,000 coins starting out but i don't know if i will just yet uh same thing with weapons it looks like so i guess is that 2,000 coins or 250,000 coins yeah, if you get 250,000, then you can make these. But it does require a, a blueprint for it. So it looks like we got a blueprint for this one right here. Actually, one of the weapons we found out there. I think we were using the MP5. So now we have that. I could craft it, I believe, for 2,000. Now, I don't know if you need... Looks like we have three, which I'm not sure what the number is. But do you drag it there? Oh, okay, so you drag it for each item. And then once you have all four, then you can 
make it. Oh, I, I see. Number one, number two, number three, number four. So if we had one, two, three, or one, two, and four, then we'd be able to make it. But yeah, that is uh, Super People. Like I said, this is the final beta that's currently happening. I believe this game is going to be free to play. Don't uh, quote me on that. I could be wrong. But uh, if you plan on checking it out, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know if you have played it, uh, any previous betas or during the current one. For now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.